How you doing everybody? My name is Dr. Sami Baya. Please welcome back to my YouTube channel. Setting boundaries with narcissist. That's the title of this video. Setting boundaries with a narcissist can be particularly challenging due to their self-centered nature and difficulty respecting others' limits. In this video, I'm going to give you a detailed a narrative or detailed points to consider when establishing and maintaining boundaries with a narcissist and i'm also going to give you real life examples and scenarios about setting boundaries with a narcissist number one to set boundaries with a narcissist define clear boundaries be specific about what is acceptable and what is not instead of vague statements like don't bother me say i need you to stop calling me after 9 p.m for example also, be firm but calm. Deliver your boundaries calmly and assertively. Narcissists may exploit any signs of, his, of hesitation or emotional vulnerability. Number three, stick to your boundaries. Consistency is key. If you waver or make exemptions, the narcissist will likely test and push your limits further. In setting boundaries, anticipate pushback. Expect resistance and manipulative tactics when you enforce boundaries. Be prepared to stand your ground despite their attempts to undermine you. Use I statements. Frame your boundaries in terms of your own needs and feelings. For example, you can say, I feel overwhelmed when you criticize me in public. That is clearer than when you say, you shouldn't criticize me. The other thing to put in mind when setting boundaries limit personal information avoid sharing personal details that could be used against you narcissists often use such information manipulatively the other thing about setting boundaries with narcissists is to protect your time clearly define and protect your personal time for instance you might set specific hours when you are available for contact and be firm about not answering outside those times when setting boundaries with narcissists avoid emotional engagement narcissists may try to provoke an emotional response stay calm and detached when enforcing boundaries the other thing about setting boundaries with narcissists document interactions keep records of interactions where boundaries are crossed this documentation can be useful if you need to show a pattern of behavior to others or if disputes arise. In setting boundaries with a narcissist, create physical space. If possible, limit your physical presence around the narcissist. This might mean spending less time in their company or arranging to meet in neutral public spaces. The other thing about setting boundaries with narcissists, use third parties. In some cases involving a neutral third party, like a mediator or counselor, can help enforce boundaries and provide support. Also prepare for gaslighting. Narcissists may deny that they are crossing boundaries or make you doubt your own perceptions. So be prepared for this and trust your own observations. When setting boundaries with narcissists, also set consequences. Clearly state the consequences if your boundaries are not respected. Be prepared to follow through with these consequences to maintain credibility. Avoid justifying your boundaries. You don't owe anyone an explanation for your personal boundaries. Simply stating what you need is sufficient. Establish digital boundaries. Manage how and when you interact with them online. Set clear limits for communication through email, social media and messaging apps. Also practice self-care. Enforcing boundaries with a narcissist can be draining. Ensure you are taking care of your own physical and emotional well-being to maintain resilience. In setting boundaries with narcissists, seek support. Reach out to trusted friends, family, or a therapist who can offer support, validation, and advice as you navigate interactions with the narcissist. Also be prepared for manipulation. Narcissists may use guilt, flattery, or other manipulative tactics to test your boundaries. So stay vigilant and remain committed to your established limits. Review and adjust boundaries. Regularly assess whether your boundaries are being respected and adjust them as needed. 
Boundaries might evolve as your relationship with the narcissist changes. When setting boundaries with narcissists, focus on what you can control. You can't control the narcissist's behavior, but you can control your own responses and boundaries. Focus on managing what you can and let go of what you cannot control. Navigating relationships with narcissists requires a balance of firmness and self-care. By setting and maintaining clear boundaries, you protect your own well-being and create a healthier environment for yourself. So, let me give you real-life examples and narratives when setting boundaries with narcissists. There's the overbearing boss, for example. Sarah worked as a marketing manager at a large firm where her boss, Robert, had a knack for taking credit for others' work. Robert often demanded that Sarah drop her plans and help him with urgent tasks only for him to present her ideas as his own. After a particularly frustrating meeting, Sarah decided to set a clear boundary. She started documenting her contributions and communicated via email, ensuring that all her work was recorded and acknowledged. Robert initially resisted, but eventually respected her process as it became clear that Sarah's professionalism was unassailable. The other example of the other is exa real life example in setting boundaries with narcissists it's about the compulsive critic. David had a friend, Laura, who was known for her relentless criticism. Whether it was about David's career choices or his hobbies, Laura always found a way to undermine his confidence. One day, David had enough. He calmly told Laura that he valued constructive feedback, but that her constant criticism was hurtful. Laura, taken aback, tried to argue, but David stood firm. Over time, Laura's comments became less frequent as she adjusted her behavior, recognizing that David would no longer tolerate her negativity. The other example of inserting boundaries with narcissists is about the family matriarch. In the Johnson family, Grandma Helen was a powerful figure whose opinions dominated family gatherings. She often criticized her children and grandchildren openly, causing tension during family events. After years of enduring this, Emily, Helen's granddaughter, decided to take action. Emily set a boundary by politely but firmly, stating that she would only attend family events if they remained respectful and free of personal criticisms. This shift created a more positive environment and allowed Emily to enjoy her family time without the emotional toil. toll. The other example of setting boundaries is the self-centered partner. Tom was in a relationship with Jenna, who frequently dismissed his needs and focused only on her own needs. So whenever Tom needed support or had something important to discuss, Jenna would interpret or redirect the conversation to herself. Realizing this pattern, Tom chose to set a boundary by insisting on scheduled times for conversations where both partners would have equal opportunity to speak and be heard. This change led to more balanced discussions and helped Jenna become more aware of her behavior. Another example of setting boundaries with narcissists is about the entitled sibling. Lisa had a brother, Mike, who would often ask for financial help but never offered anything in return. His expectations seemed to grow with each favor he requested. Lisa decided to set a financial boundary by explaining that she had her own budget and could not continuously support him. She offered to help him with budgeting advice instead. Mike initially resisted but eventually re respected a decision as he realized Lisa's support was not a given but a choice. The other example in setting boundaries with narcissists is about the manipulative friend. Rachel had a friend named Karen who would manipulate her into doing things Karen was too lazy to do herself. From running errands to covering up Karen's mistakes, Rachel often found herself at Karen's beck and call. Rachel set a boundary by stating that she would only help if Karen provided clear advance notice and showed appreciation. This boundary prompted Karen to become more considerate and take responsibility for her own tasks. The other example in setting boundaries with narcissists is about the dominating parent. 
John's mother, Claire, was known for her controlling nature, dictating every aspect of John's life from career choices to personal relationships. John decided to reclaim his autonomy by establishing boundaries. He told Claire that while he valued her opinions, he needed space to make his own decisions. This direct communication allowed John to make choices that were true to himself and fostered a more respectful relationship with his mother. The other thing, the other example of setting boundaries with narcissists is the overly critical mentor. Emma had a mentor, Robert, who was exceptionally critical of her work, rarely acknowledging her successes. Feeling demoralized, Emma decided to address this issue. She set a boundary by requesting feedback in a more structured and balanced manner. Asking Robert to highlight strengths along with areas for improvement. This approach made Robert more conscious of his feedback style and helped Emma receive more constructive and encouraging guidance. The other real life example in setting boundaries with narcissists is about the self-serving neighbor. Anna's neighbor, Greg, frequently borrowed tools and equipment, but seldom returned them in good condition. Anna decided to set a boundary by lending items only under specific conditions, such as returning them in a timely manner and in the same condition. When Greg repeatedly failed to meet these terms, Anna refused to lend her tools, leading Greg to either respect the new rules or find alternative solutions. The other example in setting boundaries with narcissists is the constantly demanding client. Client James was a freelance graphic designer who had a client called Linda, who made frequent last-minute requests and expected immediate results. This disrupted James' workflow and personal time. To address this, James set a boundary by implementing a policy of a minimum notice period for revisions and extra charges for urgent requests. Linda though initially resistant, accepted these terms as she appreciated the quality of James' work and his professionalism. The other example is about the drama-seeking relative. During family gatherings, Mark's cousin Jenny would always bring up controversial topics to stir up drama. Mark decided to set a boundary by telling Jenny that he would avoid discussing certain topics to keep the atmosphere peaceful. Mark also steered conversations towards neutral ground. Over time, Jenny respected Mark's wishes as it became clear that his boundaries were non-negotiable for maintaining harmony. The other example in setting boundaries with narcissists is about the perpetual complainer. Sophie's co-worker, Jack, was known for his constant complaining about everything from work processes to office policies. Sophie felt drained by Jack's negativity. She set a boundary by telling Jack that while she was open to discussing problems, she preferred focusing on solutions rather than dwelling on complaints. Jack, recognizing Sophie's desire for positive conversations, adjusted his approach and sought solutions rather than just voicing grievances. The other example in setting boundaries with narcissists is about the overly involved in-law. Emily's mother-in-law, Ruth, was always interfering in him, her and her husband's decisions, from parenting to household management. Emily and her husband decided to set a boundary by having a candid conversation with Ruth, explaining that they needed space to manage their household independently. Ruth initially struggled with this change, but eventually respected their wishes, leading to a more harmonious relationship. The other example in setting boundaries with narcissists is about the per perennial rule breaker. Alex's friend Mike had a habit of breaking agreed upon rules such as showing up late for appointments or not respecting shared responsibilities. Alex decided to set a boundary by clearly stating the expectations and consequences if Mike continued to disregard them. Mike's awareness of the potential consequences led him to improve his behavior valuing Alex's friendship enough to adhere to the agreed terms. The other ex example in setting boundaries with narcissists is about the boundaryless team member. In a project team, Lisa had a colleague named Dan who would frequently interrupt her work and disregard her boundaries. Lisa decided to address this by setting clear limits on her availability and establishing times when she could be inter interrupted. By communicating her work schedule and availability, Dan 
learned to respect her boundaries, leading to a more productive and respectful working relationship. The other example in setting boundaries is about the invasive friend. Olivia had a friend, Maya, who would often show up unannounced at her home, disrupting her personal time. Olivia set a boundary by explaining that she preferred scheduling visits in advance to ensure that she was available and prepared. Maya, though initially surprised, adapted to the new arrangement, leading to more enjoyable and planned visits. The other example, real-life example in setting boundaries with narcissists is about the critical parenting law. When Alex married his mother-in-law, when Alex married his mother-in-law, Susan, was highly critical of his parenting style. Alex and his spouse decided to set a boundary by having a conversation with Susan, asking her to respect their parenting decisions. This direct approach helped Susan understand their perspective and led to a more respectful and supportive relationship. The other example in setting boundaries with narcissists is about the excessively demanding student. Professor Martin had a student called Julia who frequently requested extensions and additional help beyond the usual scope. Professor Martin decided to set boundaries by enforcing deadlines and offering limited office hours for extra assistance. Julia, understanding the importance of adhering to academic standards, began managing her time more effectively. The other example in setting boundaries with a narcissist is about the overly persistent salesperson. James frequently encountered a salesperson called Mark who persistently contacted him with offers despite James' repeated rejections. James set a boundary by explicitly requesting to be removed from Mark's contact list. Mark, acknowledging James' firm request, complied, leading to less invasive interactions and respecting James' decision. And finally, the, other, the last example in setting boundaries with narcissists is about the disrespectful colleague. In her office, Maya had a colleague called Karen who would often interrupt meetings with irrelevant comments and disregard others' contributions. Maya decided to address this by setting a boundary in meetings, establishing guidelines for respectful communication and contributions. Karen adjusted her behavior to fit within the new structure, leading to more effective and respectful team interactions. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned a thing or two. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you.